Is there another pen for me? Yeah. I think that is there another pen. I think that is another pen. Oh, wow. I love the body. Dude, there's a big horse behind you. I better kill it, Zach. I don't want to kill it. It's Good, so you've got shift too. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, no. She was a lift down. Can you look at Tammy? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for yeah. tuning in. We hope you're having a beautiful Monday. No, we hope you're having a fantabulous Monday. No, beautiful one. Fantabulous. Let me just go. So, <clears throat> yeah. We had a crazy run of shows all over the UK. We've got it's still going. It's still going. Yeah. We got some more. This skirt is actually maybe not the best skirt on me. I should have let it go years ago, but apparently she's still holding on to it. I got it in a charity shop. I don't know even what size skirt this is. Could be for a kid. Could be for a really large dwarf. But I think it's for a large dwarf. I've been wearing it for years. But anyway. Girl, better ride strong ship jet. I did. And also do my Aaron Ferreira. Thank you oh, so much. Thank you, baby. Ooh. Um, thank you so much to everyone for your guys' support. We really, really appreciate it. It's getting closer for us to get to America. And then we will be in Japan as well. Nihongo wa mada mada this year. Fuck, I need to learn more Japanese. It's so if anyone's seen the price <clears throat> of the flights. Oh yeah. It's so, crazy. And so, thank you so much, Rich. Then you're ready for the heads up on the cheaper flights, but they still Girl, you better, better that post it. David. David, oh David thank you so much. We, you. we went to go look. The oh. cheapest flight we can find is $4,200. Yeah, it's insane. Girl, you better write Dale Letterman. Dale. Oh, hey, my thank God. Thank you. Dale, it's been awesome seeing you at all the shows. And David Smee. Thank David you. David Smee. Oh, my God. Thank you so thank fucking you. much. We got to see Roy. We got to see Colin Rain. We got to see um, Tracy Byrne. We got to see um, oh, Phil. Phil as well. Phyllis. No. Phil and I was just so excited. Yeah. Um, it's been really, really fucking awesome. And can I say anything about the video today? No. Oh. We but got some cool news. It well, might be a music video dropping sometime soon. Very soon. soon. Mm -hmm. We won't tell you what song, but it's going to be wild. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, shit. Boca says, I need a nurse. I have corona. God, is the last day I'm sick. Oh, shit. Fuck sakes. Yeah, I got bronchitis and my sister's also hey, really well. and Matt Furness. Hello. It was hey, really cool to see you. It was fucking good to see you. And Bastard One wants you to sing for his mom. It's a bit Based on. Sam, what did you call him? Bastard? Yeah. Well, that's what I read. Though. No, it's great. Based, Based on. Based on. Oh, sorry. And yes, we can. Of course. What is your mom's name? Oh, Gloria. Wait, let me write my damn heels on And Beverly Hassel, thank you. Thank you, girl. You better write that beautiful lady's name on me. I am. Beverly Hassel. But, like, seriously, Beverly thank Hassel. you so much. Mm -hmm. We are so fucking grateful and happy to be on this road. There is some bit of sad news, and we're going to just yeah. say it now. So, Unfortunately, so part of what we love doing the most is that we like to make people feel part of a community and part of a family that maybe they don't have in their own lives. And also us getting to do our live streams um, for <clears throat> two and a half years, basically. Three years now, girl. Three years now. Um, um, during the, Especially during the lockdown. Then obviously a lot of people were very lonely and going through their own things. And I think the world was shut off even more to them. People that already were very isolated. And so vulnerable were completely somebody, fucked. Somebody... Quite a few people reached out to us, but there was a, a guy called Lance Doré. And he was one of the most beautiful people we've ever had the pleasure of meeting. And he, he's told us that um, our live stream saved his life because he was going to commit suicide because his mom had died. And basically, she was just his whole world. And, and he had nothing and no one else. But and it was so sad. And we got to meet him in April. It was on my at birthday the start of the show. And... Um, we, even, we even, got him to come out of his shell a bit. Even for him to just, <clears throat> like, leave his apartment was obviously a big thing because he never goes out. So he stood there, like, crying and was very like, anxious. Fuck, we, were, we were so, Dale like, met him. Dale, Dale met, met him. him. All the way out, and he took a train and everything, and he came to that show. And that was a lot for him to do. And then we saw him last week, last Sunday. And he played in Swansea, which is where he lived. And, um, that was the last, like, it's so fucking sad, man. Yeah, and we found out um, two days ago, 
yeah, that unfortunately took his life, and that is like honestly, we we've been trying to think like, was there something that we could have said to and him? He gave us these necklaces. I think he made up his mind though. He he honestly he I has don't know. His name on it. I hope he's found peace, but he just he he was so sad and so like alone. And it was nothing, and I I feel so awful because I wish we could have taken him in our tour van and then like stopped him from yeah and like just made him feel that he really was amazing and he he truly was. I I I just I don't understand how he couldn't see it for himself, but the like it's so fucking sad, man. His sister contacted us and told us, and it's it's sad because all he wanted was to get out of the area he was staying in. I don't know, what a fucking waste most beautiful blue eyes it's like just it's shit i don't want to focus on it in like a negative light like where i'm just gonna cry about it because it is fucking sad but yeah again you don't ever know what people are going through so like the best thing you can ever do is try like i don't know if people are going through shit reach out to them we did message him a lot i i still wish that i don't know i'd known it just at what point he was i could tell there was something off but fuck it's really sad. But yeah. Again, we will never forget it. People need to spread love. Yeah, there's so much shit out there. And already he was such an anxious person. And it, it happens with a lot of people. They want to go out, but they, they feel... They're so scared of people. They're so vulnerable because of ugliness out there. If you see someone being bullied, look... Even if you're in a shop and you can <clears> see <throat> someone like... Go up to the person being bullied and just be there for them. You don't have to confront the bully necessarily. Even Lily was saying, it's not cool. I think yeah. sometimes he would um, go into like charity shops and and like see little things and that. And I wish even the people in the shop could have like picked up on his energy and said, "Hey man, could I take you out for a coffee or something?" I wish more people did that. It's yeah, what a fucking crazy world. If you meet someone, look, you don't have to take on everyone's burdens, but you really can make a difference. I remember it's just like <clears throat> saying hello to someone. I remember even in Sunday we were chatting to him and even Liam as well saying to him, Hey, I love you and giving him a hug. You could see his face lit up, but yeah. Like he got such a fight that he said that to him. He's <clears throat> like, What? I was really? just so yeah. sad. Yeah, again, you never know what someone's going through. Don't ever if you're going through shit as well, reach out to people. Shame David yeah. May says he lost his niece like that in May. That's I'm really yeah. sorry, man. The the worst part was I even have a card that I had made him, and I was gonna send it to him today. Yeah, oh, Obviously, that's yeah. pretty shit. I yeah. even told him when he saw me like we have a card that we're gonna send you. Yeah, mm. he didn't make it to the post office in time, and again I just think fuck. He gave us this really cool <coughs> book. That I, could I wish you. I wish that he'd seen that. But yeah, it's sad. But again, I I think don't ever make your life like something where you don't live it to the fullest embrace it if you're alive you might as well make the fucking most out of being alive it's so sad when people go too early but again for everyone that's still on this earth make it a better place whatever way you can go about it just do it it's a, it's just sad it's a lot though. of hurt people okay. yeah i feel fucking awful i wish but can i, I, I can i in. can i say something <clears throat> so i spoke to lance at Swansea and Swansea. Swansea and I feel that the system actually done failed, failed him because he was living alone, um, had nobody and the NHS um changed his medication and he said it was making him feel not good. And, and then they way. wanted to sanction him. And I think just that, that pushed on its own edge. just pushed him. Because the difference from when we saw him in April to when we saw him again, it like even I took photos of them and I can just you see in his the eyes. Oh, yeah, the photos. Give people. Ah, yeah, oh, there's a fucking fly in here. It's a giant horse fly. You you can see in the photos the like, he's he's always you can see he's be oh, he was so beautiful, but he you could see he. When we saw him last Sunday, something was wrong. It's bad. I just feel I so fucking awful. Book. He gave us um, <clears throat> really <clears throat> funny little book. It was like, um, I don't know, you'd have to see it to understand. I don't know where it is, but it was I'll, like a really funny <clears throat> comic book. Let me put the photos back to back and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But how fucking sad. And Kombangwa Macho 5640. Everybody's good. Yeah, so if anyone else... 
um, is at that point in their life, like, seriously, don't, it, it's so fucked up, it's it's so shit, but you, you really can't get through it, you just, and also, know. like, talk to people, honestly, yeah. yeah, more people than you realize have been at that point in life where they and feel that there's no but they're hope. the people who never talk, yeah. that's why sometimes I, I, I feel really upset, because a lot of people who will talk about things, and then it, it takes the focus away from people who genuinely they're going through bad, bad shit. Like maybe someone's had a rough day and they're like, oh, I just want to off myself or something. And then everyone's like, oh my God. But then someone There's who's... people that's actually really suffering and... No you've got to look for those people. Yeah. Because they don't. They're very quiet. <clears throat> you don't even know. You go, you better ride my gold. Oh, I'm going to ride it. Yeah, and I agree that we don't. say everybody should be more kind. Yeah, I do. I don't know. Cammy's gonna find a picture. So yeah, I, wanna, I wanna, I wanna girl. make him I wanna say memory. Dwayne Nixon. Yeah, we'll dedicate a song to him on our next album. It's just what a pity, and he really he loved our music. He loved yeah, he Nirvana. told me on Sunday. Mm. What what a fucking pity! Imagine like the last time you see someone, it's in in a car accident or in an accident. That's also it's it's heavy, but it's but like in a way the it's... fact that fuck you keep thinking you could have said something. I don't know. I even I went and reread every single message I've ever sent. I was thinking, was there something that I could have like? And he he even said, oh, he hates um, money. <clears throat> he said he doesn't care for things like that. And and he said, he, um, I said, yeah, I, I agree with you. Or whatever, it, it is a bad thing because it makes people more greedy and that. Um, and it he wasn't. said, I oh, I don't need money where I'm going. And I was, and I looked at him and was like, what What do you mean you're gonna kill yourself? Yeah, and then. Yeah, that's so fucking sad. Like, he, he, he said, like, we made him happy, and I'm, I'm glad for the time that he did know us and our music, that we were there for him, but, man, it's just, I don't I don't even know what to say. It's heavy. When we found out, we were just like, oh. So everyone like, must spread, heartbreaking. spread love, love yeah. and acceptance. If more yeah. people maybe had, <clears throat> like, I don't know, you'd known that there, there were people that were good out there, then I don't know, hopefully you could have turned him and made him have hope, but I think just losing his mom and being isolated and then the threat of being sanctioned just it Co- completely this, fucked him. The whole COVID um, lockdowns did a lot of damage. said he, he was already lonely because like, learning <laughs> his mom passed away in 2016 and he was barely coming to terms with it and he just said the lockdown just, yeah. Fucked. But that's again why we're so grateful for the live streams, whether it's Christmas, sure, whether it's New also, Year's Day. Look. We just want to say that people don't ever feel alone. You might not have family, you might not have friends, but you'll always have us. And that's one fucking promise we'll always look make. Look what Lon- yeah, uh, Hans Hans yeah, that. Yeah, I think a lot of people that um, <clears throat> do do that, they don't realize like the, the people that they leave behind, which yeah. is really sad. I just... I'm so sad, man. I I really wish that we we could have taken him in. I don't know what more we could have done because I, I think he'd already he made that in his mind that he he was going to do that. Yeah. And Mike, thank you for doing that. He said that he messaged him and tried to encourage him to go out and try. <coughs> it would have possible. meant a lot yeah. to him that I so do thank now. Thank you. And also thank you to Cole Casper and it's been really cool seeing you in England. Yes. Dutchman in England. I'm just trying to find the one photo from April to And also see John Austin and Hans and Disassociative TV and Dwayne <clears throat> Nixon. So we didn't want to we don't want to make this like a doom and gloom. No. And just, we want to celebrate one and yeah. it's made me even more passionate to live my life because I want to reach more people before they do things like that where it, they feel that they've got fucking nothing left to live for. Yeah. I, I think we need to all build massive communities of people that are there for one another. Bill's asking, how's Red? He's good. We should phone him. <clears throat> oh, we can. Hold up. Let me find him. the photo first. Right, no, let's find okay. the photo. Let me find the photo. Red's good. He's uh, looking after the cat. Sam, what are you doing? But again, let's we go. will never forget those that pass on. And that's, again, something never, ever let someone's life be in vain. Yeah. Why don't we do bury me for him? Can no, our can. voice, Sam? My okay. voice is so fucked. I'm gonna sound like a man singing, but it's okay. I'm just trying to find a sound like you also twenty bags a day. And you see, this also just highlights why I'm so grateful for photos and for getting to meet people in person. Now I have those memories forever. Mike says he's still uh, living through the pictures. Ah. Also, always <laughs> so thank you. 
I'm glad and I did oh, wow. Did you I see what some someone picks. said? And Ashley Marshall, Dales, thank what you. Dale and Ashley Marshall, it was fucking good to see you. Shane Dale thank says he them. was listening to a random acoustic. Today it turned out to be from Tio Tio and of all chances, Lance is actually commenting. Oh, Shane. Mm. Fucking sad, man. Yeah, I, I, Sam and Millie were like, uh, not kind of beating themselves up about it and saying like, oh, they wish they could have just taken him in. I messaged him last on like and Tuesday, and but I, I said that when somebody has already made that decision, which he, I think he definitely had, like even talking to him on to Sunday. Go and get, he, he bought his beautiful necklaces. His and name's engraved. His name on there. Ours. And I think if somebody has. They're already in that place. There's, there's not much you can do to change their mind. Like they've made that decision, and yeah, that's it. Like you just how you want to be there anymore. You could see the the. Um, that's why I'm finding the photos to show the difference. Like you can see in his eyes, like he's just something has gone. That's yeah. fucking sad, man. I'm just grateful yeah, that yeah, he, he didn't you, die Carl. completely nuts. Like the next pain. Like not known, if that makes sense. Like, like he did. He made an impact on our lives yeah. and he knew. Shame. So I'm going to be thank you. Let me find this photo. Sorry. We had so many amazing photos from this tour of meeting everyone. I've been like a proper tourist taking photos. Also, because, yeah, yeah and realize. also like COVID and that experience <clears throat> makes you realize like taking Why pictures in life. Why is so insta? Let's get to the So so. No. So this uh, is him at the first. Yeah. Sorry for my blowing my nose. It's fucking sad. Look, I'll show you. So, this was when we first met him in April. Wait. It's not focusing. You gotta hold it up better, I think. Hold it away more. No. There's Lance. No, if you do this. No, you can't. Okay, no. wait. So, I'm gonna show you our oh, shame, and you can just tell. He was completely fucked. And I we knew it when we saw him, we were very worried. So that was him. Wait, it needs to be clearer. Unless I swap the camera around. Yeah, it's blurry, okay. I'm gonna show you myself quick. Okay. Um Oh. Filming you girl. Me. No me accent. So oh fucking hell my face. I was him in April, and then on Sunday, just tell something like wasn't right. He's not happy. No. You can see in his eye, like completely different person. Just fuck. Mm. Heavy, sad. Mm. Heavy, 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 sad. But yeah. <clears throat> so again. Lance says, girls, we should give hope. We can't save everyone. We should try our best to do some memory. Yeah. I remember Lance as I do everyone I've known. But uh, but again, I, I if I ever have a situation like that in my whole life again, I'm going to literally just grab the person. Grab the person. Uh, David Smith says, living and learn. These streams help beat the boredom and the quiet. These streams make hey. my week. Uh, Rock on, man. You. And like we said before, look, it's been a bit tricky. Cool, we are going to start, we are going to start live streaming more often. So, like, just hold on, and especially when we're in America and also in Japan. And also, because I have an American phone, I got limitless data, bitch. Sorry. And BSS is well, like... streaming. I can stream on my phone. Uh... Okay. Which we can't do in England. It's very expensive. The data here, like, when we're live streaming, sometimes we're like this. Oh, my God, the bill. <laughs> like, yeah, you, you have to pay a lot for mobile data. Han says, what happened to my friends? We all saw that coming, <clears> but there was something, nothing we could do. Yeah, mm -hmm. but still, next time, I, if I ever have a situation like that, I'm literally going to tell the person, like, just... Hey, you know, Laura. I, I'm just so sorry, and I really wish that we weren't so tired ourselves. Oh, right, okay. Not so many shows going on, because then I think maybe our heads would have been clearer. You better have with some rain. Thank you very and much, And Colin, we be seeing you soon again. And uh, Bill Kasarek is asking, do the vocal zones help with cold or sore throat? Um, um, yeah, let me explain. Okay. <clears throat> I think they do. Oh, there's they, certain they things you can soothe. take. Yeah, they so, soothe your throat. If you, if you have a sore throat and you can't stop coughing, this will help you no end. It's not going to restore your voice, although it will help soothe it. If you want to restore your voice, you're going to have to steam like a maniac. You're going to have to avoid and drink any dairy. Water. 
um, alcohol works for me, like whiskey, uh, like a little bit, and a lot of honey helps as well. Yeah, rest. Just, you cannot Cold talk a lot of music. Girl can rest is associated with <clears throat> TV and Mr. Colin Rain. I did. And Han says, you helped me so many through lockdown. Please keep that beautiful thought. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And yeah. Carl Perkins. And yes, Mike Vespucci, how is your recovery coming along? And also, how and is Duvan Carl? sent some paper early. Right. Right. I wrote Duvan already. Oh, really? Wait, what are you saying? Yes. Carl. Carl. Yeah. See. And we're going to call Red. <laughs> I hope the, the connection's going to be good, though. Because they've it's... got tons of blackouts. Yeah, so. yeah and South Africa Africa answers. it's rolling blackouts all the time. It's rolling, 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 rolling. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. And we'll keep this. Me too. Mm. Sad. And also, Bill? Oh, Daniel's still not feeling well. He's Daniel, on. I'm so sorry, man. Shit, Fuck. Also, can I just say something? Steam. I got bronchitis. Whiskey. Drink the whiskey. <laughs> Look at Daniel. Drink a bit of the whiskey. I'm not shitting you. And I know you've got sweat it out. Sweat it out. But can I just say one thing? Get antibiotics. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna just like I'm, I don't like antibiotics, but, but some things like bronchitis this, yeah. and shit. Just take it. He's not answering, sorry. Oh, ooh. he's yeah. too busy for us. He's too busy now. He's too busy. probably asleep, that's why. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's like 12 or oh, 1 Oh, shit, okay. okay. Are they an hour ahead? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Won't be an hour ahead? Should I try one more time? No <clears throat> shame, he's okay. probably sleeping. But again, you thank you call, to everyone call for call being the beautiful community that yeah, you guys are. Thank you. I think it's... Sorry, I've heard. And thanks <laughs> to... What's Alan's YouTube name? I cannot <gasps> something. I always forget it. Uh, um, <clears throat> don't look at me. Because he, he, he's sorting out that Citroen. Yeah, thank you. All right. But to everyone. And why that's... Jogi Small 90 says hello. 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 To everyone, that's such a beautiful community. It's awesome. I love when soap starts from Europe or America come over and everyone's yes. a big family. All different, but on the same wavelength. Uh, Roger says, my mom knew how to make a hot toddy that would cure all in this. I never know how she made them, though. <laughs> and hey, Steve Jamson. Sam once made me a hot toddy. Not yeah. Well, we were on our way to Scotland. It was years ago. She took a litre bottle, oh. filled it with a whole lot of lemon juice. She took ginger and I vodka. The smell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The smell and was bad. It was half a bottle of vodka, and then she said, yeah, that's and what Hans just drink said. Up. Orange juice, <clears throat> gin and sugar, microwave. Mm. It will heat it up and then you just drink it. Yeah. Like it's the best. That could say so. Steve Johnson is on. Hello. Hey, Steve, what's up? We hope you're Mr. good. Johnson. But also, I just want to say, I hope you guys all know that you really do mean everything to us. So, so we you. fucking care. And please, again, don't ever like. Fucking thing you have to end your life. It's so fucked up and it's so sad. And also, it really <clears throat> hurts people when you do that okay. too. Look, but yeah. it's not about you though. I know. No, it wasn't making sorry. No, 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 I, I blame the whole NHS thing because yeah. they shouldn't have just swapped his medication. He, that was the thing that he kept going on about that he was going to be sanctioned and it freaked and him out. And also, that his medication Shame. is making him very woozy. Because I'm not yeah. being funny, but like if family or anybody out there has family and they think, you know, that sanctioning them is going to help them. Doesn't. It's actually and worse than the prison. And Lance Dore, he, he took his own life. That's what happened. It's fucking sad, man. Yeah. I really get about him. He was the most gentle person I've ever met in my whole life. So, like, it's really hectic. Even, um, I said to him, because the area that we're in, it's quite rough, uh, Swansea. Yes, I said to him, just be careful when you walk now, because it's like some really horrible people in the world. And... I should have known, like, even, like, how he, he when he, when he looked at me and he said, um, it's like, no, no one can do anything to him. Kind of like, you know, when someone's, like, past that point, and then even if someone, like, beat them to death or something, then they would just, they wouldn't fight back, or they would just, it would be, like, a welcoming embrace to them. And you know, something's not good. Shit. Yeah. It's awful. And Daniel says that he's enjoying his new camera and he's looking at the portraits, they're good. Oh my god, you sack of color. Kevin Mack, thank you. Thank you. Steve yeah. Johnson, Lance Story, took his life two days ago. Yeah, we found out from him, <coughs> so we are so sad. Because we saw him last week, Sunday, 
and we spoke to him we messaged him and we spoke to him and and then um like i was going to be posting his card and then yeah Mm. fuck and then then his sister said i have really bad news and we just knew and she said can we please phone and but we just we were already like fuck Uh, yeah we knew he was not in a good space Mm. no but we still thought like after talking he seemed like he would hold on because he said all he yes. wanted to do was move to all he wanted to do was move to Cambridge to be with his sister yeah mm. people are laughing at you Sam why <laughs> huh. I need to blow my nose me too sorry we keep sniffing. so annoying but again <clears throat> we are fucking determined more determined than ever like look the world's fucked up but you make the space you want and we're gonna fucking make this a great space Everywhere you go, you don't, you get people who will bully you, people who will harass you. Those motherfuckers aren't going to be taking away the power. No, and they're so we must all keep making the world better. It doesn't matter how much oppression people want to bring anyone's way, fight it. Don't ever allow anyone to make you feel unwelcome in this world. Also, I think he got judged a lot because he didn't really know, um, when I say he didn't know how to dress, I, I don't think that he was, like, cared about it. He didn't care That's about, like, his, his mom... From what I gathered, and he spoke to me a lot. He, it, like she, she was his whole world, but she didn't oh, so allow him to have friends or anyone else. So it was just a very isolated existence. And when she died, he, he had lost nothing, the, no yeah. people skills. It's like you know, in those Mormon communities where they all they know is what they know, like from their family there. So, uh, yeah, fucking sad. What was... a beautiful soul, though. Sad. Yeah, the world's gone. Nuts. Nuts. Why have you guys put pins all over the floor? In case you sat down. Asshole. Yeah, yeah. This hey, is where we in here? TV says, when are you coming back? Where? In To Italy. Oh, we uh, can't wait. We love Italy and we will be back. Amiamo <clears throat> Italia. We will be back. Girl, ain't we in here somewhere? I don't no. know. I don't think Not so. Not that one. Not this one, no. No. But then why did they give it to us? I don't know. Free toilet paper. Really? I'm pretty but sure yeah. we were in this one. We are very, very excited. So the next run of shows starts on Thursday and we go to an area called Grimsby. We will we will live stream it. Um like on the way into Grimsby and that. The name makes me laugh because Yeah, because it's grim. It kind of I'm joking. suits the best. Yeah. But the, the seagulls people, wait. the seagulls there are massive. Base star says that's why it's always kind to everyone. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. It's unnecessary. You have to be you must be instead of people moaning about the world, we have to be what we want to see out there in the world. Be the That's picture true. you want. And like sometimes I've met people and they're absolute ass hats. But then I choose. I'm like, I'm either gonna become just like them and be a and make things horrible, just horrible. Or, or I'm gonna rise above it. The only time I will say where I really will like just snap at someone, if someone gets physically violent towards me or to anyone else I see, that's a very different story. But again, yeah. I always say to people, try to see where someone's coming from with their shit. Try to yeah. assess the situation. But generally, if someone wants to be an asshole, that's your problem, not mine. You're not going to ruin my life. And no not Luca or I own not Luca. Uh, we are still touring at the moment. Yeah, we're touring till the end of October, man. And also, based on says, can't Nixon. wait till you come to Illinois. Ooh, we are so... Ooh. Guys. And John Barranco, thank you. Do you know, when we get to America, we are probably going to, like, lose our minds. Um, we are so <laughs> fucking grateful and so excited. Isn't this insane? You guys have been with us this whole journey. Or some people from before the lockdowns and everything... And, and also, it's really with since the lockdowns, and, and it's, it's cool, cool being able to meet people and they come <clears> to the shows and they're like, "Thank you so much, like for what you did for us for, during the lockdowns." And it's like, I was like, "Oh, thank you." And what a cool thing for us! It's like you guys know us already. It's like, it's like, hey man, hey. how's it going? Oh my God, Daniel says, "Read with Daniel." My cat is wearing the cone of shame and can't go out, so I have to keep all the doors and windows closed to prevent escape. Houses a sweat box need air conditioning. Oh, oh, you need no. to, but it's good for you though. You're sweating it out. So yes, yeah, sweat it shows. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two Does weeks ago, have a cigar? two weeks ago, I was on a small trip in my hometown. Oh, sweet! Mm-hmm. And hey, Darren Swan. Ka-ka! 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 And Laura Hayne. 
And Laura, hey. Hey. Hey, girl. We hope you're good. And also... Mein um, herzliche Beiland. Cool. Hey. Thank you for getting me through lockdown, Vesa. Hey, um, rock on. Well, we just always, like we said, we'll always make a point of being here for everyone. Through the loneliest times of the year, which for most people is probably Christmas. Yeah. Weird enough. It's a shit Christmas. time for a lot of people. Time. And also it's, Valentine's Day. It's, okay. For me, yeah. Han say, says, you cannot imagine how you and your shows and your songs have enlightened my life the last two years. I'm looking forward to each and every show live or streamed. Yeah, well, uh, thank you. And you know, it was really, really cool to meet you in person because you're really sweet in person too. So, so now every time we see your, your name, we, we, know your face. we know your face. It's yeah. really fucking And cool. he's got a really smart stress sense. Mm. Yes, you mm. do. Mm. And a wicked sense of humor. Most Dutch people do, though. That Paul is true. It's the cheese. If I Paul Epson. Hey, hey, I like your profile pic, Mr. Epson. What is it? Oh. oh. Hello. It's me and my sister and you. <laughs> Pull abs on. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my nose is so raw from like blowing it all. And also, I love that you guys are all like, hey, hey, to each other. I think that's sick. really cool because at least you know, like, no matter where you are in the world, even if you're in Holland and then you're talking to someone in America, then you create you're creating like it's weird you know if you look at the world then you're making like these little tracks that cross over like you know knitting needles yeah and everybody's pulling onto the same thing and then eventually you'll meet we make a jersey yeah we make a big jersey and warm the world but you know what's really funny like well it's not actually fucking funny and i just want to say look not everyone um can afford to like help out and like we, but I just want to say we, we, we have to say and... one one massive thank you to everyone for like the super chats for buying the yeah, merch thank you. and for helping us on PayPal. The reason is a lot of things happen on this tour. A lot of things have happened. Like our roof box of our car was loosened. We was, know for a hundred percent fact. Yeah, because it doesn't just come off. Like it, that. it wouldn't. It would have unscrewed like one maybe, and then it would have still been attached. Someone so, uns- someone, someone unscrewed. loosened it. Well, let me talk about it. Someone had screwed every single thing on the roof box and it came off on the way to the shows. That was on Wednesday. Was it Wednesday? Yes, yeah, so someone did it yeah. on yeah. Wednesday night. And we were driving and the fucking... Oh, no, Wednesday was Thursday, so yeah. it was on the way up. We were driving, we heard a noise, and I said, what was that? And then uh, we were driving a little bit more. It was on a motorway and this car pulled up uh, like near us and they were trying to show us on the screen they said your box has come off we were like ah oh, fuck and so we, then we, we stopped to... the van and tried to run back all the way back but it was too far back so we had to get in go all the way around and then come back and, and look out for this whatever was left behind and we saw it was all smashed up yeah yeah well, so again, but, like but that's so, why so we, we say thank you. Off on their own. No, but especially no. thank you to everyone for helping because obviously you need With, money to survive. So, so thank, thank you. you. And Rich Sinirelli, thank you. I can, yeah, yeah, we oh, did actually. Thank you. But yeah, so we know for a fact we, that was done. We, we yeah. did lose quite a lot of stuff. I even lost some alcohol. We lost yeah, that's and Dan, this was the big raw chili on Sunday, made me sweat but didn't get this out. I'll let it improve my You should never let them take you like that. Oh. Was he Mexican? Hmm? Rich, Roger Branson, please don't dwell on what you might or might not have said differently to poor Lance. That's an honest response, of course, but it would only bring you down. Nobody's more loving than you three. Thank you, but I, I, do, I do wish I had just said, like, you know what, fuck it, just, yeah. Uh, Kirsty Allen, we are coming into Scotland. Yes. yes. So mm. in August, we will be in Edinburgh and Scotland. Uh, Edinburgh and fucking Glasgow. Edinburgh is Scotland. Don't you fucking tell me. Don't you fucking tell me. You are not Scottish. I fucking am. I warn you, I'll fucking take a frying pan to your sit face. Sit there, sit there on the couch. Don't you sit fucking. Sit down on the couch. Who the fuck are you? You're, you're fuck. spitting in my face. You're an English twat. You're spitting in my face. I don't care. You should. I'm warning you. You ever fuck with a Scottish person again, you'll never tell the story again. Why does it sound like you've got balls in your throat? I've got fucking bronchitis. Then fucking smell it. Then you ever cheek me again? Face. You ever cheek me like that again? You're spitting on my face like that. I'll kick you yeah, right into the th- th- Thursday the night. That's Sorry. It. Box Whatever. was taken. Someone undid. All yeah, what four. day was that we were driving? All, because it clamps. It's it's metal grip, so it can't just. 
Like, and even even if, if, just that was even if three, just three oh, yeah, thank you. even yeah. if I can't fucking remember, so it must have been Thursday yes. night. night. Thursday night, that someone did that yeah. Yeah. during the night. Holy dive! Also, yeah. think about it like this: we've been on the tour since April, okay, and we've gone through every country. Look, sometimes the roof box was actually opened, but still attached, and shit came out. But, but this time. The whole so, thing was loose. Because each claw has clamped on, it's got a separate lock. You you don't open one claw and then they're all open. It's, yeah, each one yeah. has to be undone. So every one of them was undone. And there was a nice big dent in the roof of the car. So somebody So we could see there. that somebody mm. heavy went up and did that. Jamie Dodger says, yeah, we bosoms. Shut the fuck up. I'm I saw that you're lucky you didn't get run over some rubber necker driver by looking at the pretty girls. When I was running by myself down, because Liam went before me and I came back after, oh my god, look at my foot. It's disgusting. Do you want to see something gross? Watch this. See, the only then way that it can happen before... is if the roof racks are loose. Look at the back there. Can you see that? Right. Yeah. I don't know if you can see so it. Okay. No, you can't see it. I'll give it here and I'll film it for you. Let me show you this thing. Let me Next show you time this though, I'll here. Eat. We take off the roof box every now and again. It's like an open wound. It's disgusting. Look at that. Oof. Festering. Next time. I'm telling you. No, you must, you horrible. should put something on that. I did, I had a plaster. Oh my Matt, Matt God. Gave me, Matt gave me plasters. <clears throat> and I think I went in the shower and it came off, but I'm going to put another one on. Oh my God. Oh, and then when the plaster came off, there was skin attached to it. Ooh. You're a dirty fucking So I made drunk. a stew and you had it? You're disgusting. I know. Can you do a Scottish accent? No, I can't. Why don't you try? I I, why don't you try? Why don't you fucking try? <laughs> I uh, was Carter says, hello, you. girls, hope you're all good. Thank yeah, we you. Yeah, we got thank you. I like doing Scottish accents. I know, Mike. I don't know. People are yeah, listening. Daniel, Hensi, definitely. What? And Drunk Chef, thank you. Anyone who's had roof boxes... Well, no, for a fact. Yeah, yeah. I researched. They don't all, they don't, no. all the four. It would have rattled. We all the have... four um, no. uh, claws that hold it on mm. are metallic. And, uh, yep, they were somebody, they would have had to have all an four onboard first aider. Say what? Someone said we need an onboard first aider. No, actually, you just need that, I guess. Yes. Yes. Been oh, awesome. yeah. We lost fuck actually up. quite yeah, a lot of did. stuff in the box. And like cool boots. But we and can't stuff, we but... can't dwell on it. Yeah, yeah, I mean look, we were just laughing. What else are we gonna do? And the ironic part was the venue was like, please, what time are you coming? And we left early. So we said, Oh, we'll be there early. And then that happened and then we we're like, For fuck's sakes. For the ones we were For actually fuck's early. Sakes. I think when he comes to the USA, I will probably lose my mind. Also, girls and Sam, so close but so far away. My birthday is August 12th. Ooh. I wish you could gig here, could have materialized. Wish I could have travel. Oh. Well, Mike, don't worry. Mike, for spouchy. We're going to send you a pool in a box. Pool in a box. Because <laughs> someone says, can you try a Nicole Sturgeon's accent? Who's Nicole Sturgeon? She says Scottish Prime Minister. I don't fucking know her accent. Nicole Sturgeon. I don't know her accent, but you know what really makes me laugh? A lot of times, maybe in a venue, and someone really? asks, they say, can you do a Scottish accent? And I'm like, yeah, I fucking can. And they're really? initially, like, rude, as if I can't fucking do it. And, and she, I do. She speaks, and then they have to shit themselves. Exactly, I say, the fuck are you looking at? I don't give a rat's cock and balls what you think about me. Morning, you, I'll fucking take you right down to the river. Man, cock, six is out of place. I'll fucking break your asshole. Hey, hey, I need to pop it. Need oh, to pop look it. at that. Make it rain on me, baby. Make it rain on these babies. My sister sells her farts. I wish I could. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> really? Would you sell your farts in a jar? I'll sell my fucking piss. I'm just saying. All right. Danny says, I was so concerned about the roof box when I caught a small part of the video. More the fact you stopped in a lane and got out. Very big risk of being run over or something hitting the van. Boo bloody who? All right. So, <laughs> what? Um, I just want to say to everyone who has not received that tumbler, oh, boo for you two. Fucking hell, grow a pair. I'm what just checking, we... we will send you them. We're going to have to reorder, and then you will receive all your things. Somebody's I just wanted me... to tease everyone. Somebody's I've got mine. Me... You don't have yours. Shut up. You will. 
Shut it. Not coming in it. No, I'm just joking. It's coming. And I also, think, I think it's all organised. Also, by the way, I posted everyone's albums. So don't be sad all and frightened about your stuff that needed to be sent. I will send it. Dwayne Nixon, I lied. I said that your albums would arrive last week. They will arrive this week. I am so sorry. You know. Shit happened. Whatever but it is. But we, we, we have sent. Yeah, what? Whatever the sickness or whatever that I have, I never knew it was humanly possible for somebody to produce so much fluid from a nose. After, like, before this. <coughs> like, it just keeps coming. <coughs> it's terrible. Beat me. Aren't you going to do the music? Beat my back. Before Come it gets on. late. Beat my sing back. a song. Hey, oh, hey, oh, it's a Monday, Monday, Monday. You ever do that to me again? That's assault. Guys, come on. You back at me. I mean, I use power. Aren't you going to do? Yes, we are. This yeah. is what my sister once did to me. She said, why do we have an arm wrestle? They I arm wrestled, wrestled her and she said, well, she hit it. me. No, I was showing you a self-defense move. And I said, take my arm. And then she nearly fucking uh, broke it. Darren Swan, I'll make sure that there is what available soon. What? No, she's lying. It's you have not. They have that story. Yeah, I've... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Grab man. that guitar and do me a favor. Oh my God! I burped. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. She's not sorry. Okay, I'm not ready. I just I had to sing. Sorry Sam? about that. No. Yeah. Yeah. And what about happy birthday to Gloria? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, baby. Happy you are, birthday. Wait, you sure you're not actually Scottish? Do I fucking look Scottish? You can't Fuck do. off. Yeah, you do you. look a wee bit like a haggis. You look like a fucking leg of lamb, you do. You look like somebody's gonna get a smack box. You look like mushy peas in a fucking badge. You look like a piece of poo on a tongue. Fuck you, man. That's been in the sun too long for eight days. Hey, yeah. about selling your birds? Dear lammy man says, you are a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I never respect, I never expected Happy it from you. I'm joking. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's right with the harmony. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's terrible. It wasn't, it was cool. Okay, but I look like that for me. Yeah, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gloria. Happy birthday to you. It's a birthday today, girl, get your cake. It's a birthday today, girl, get your cake. Blow out the candles and celebrate. It's your birthday today, girl, get your cake. <laughs> Why are you afraid to go to Minneapolis? Faz wants to come to see a show in Minnesota, but I'm afraid. Oh. Well, what's wrong with Minneapolis? You tell me. I don't find The apples are minis. And Dwayne, you're welcome. Thank you very much for your patience. I do feel bad, and it was the same with Lance's card. I just, I didn't have the chance to get to the shop in person before we had the shows. Also, with the roof box, there was a big fuck up. And you know that day I was gonna actually put all the stuff that's gonna be posted in that box. That's and she right. said to me, no, don't do it. Thank God. Thank God I didn't but if you had, you would have seen it was <clears throat> loosened. Uh, that's you so. in the corner. Why don't we do bury me for the thoughts? We'll see. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Steve says, do you have news next? I think it's spelled wrong, it will dry you up. Oh. Oh. Must try find that. No, I find never. Ah, Basil says thank you. You all made a day. Ah, oh, that's uh, so happy sweet. birthday, Gloria. Happy girl. birthday, Gloria. It's your day, girl. You do what you want. You do what you like. It's Take a birthday. poo on the car, but do your thing. Okay. Nobody didn't write your name in it, girl. Okay, maybe don't do that, but do what you want to do. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> and this one goes out to Lance, like. I really hope my voice is gonna be okay in this one. It was one of the most beautiful people we've ever met. Suddenly it's cold and she steals the air. She is mad, it's worse than we ever fear. Lost her mind, dirty words, they can't sing the sound.
<laughs> Darren yeah. Swan throwing his banner in the words Happy Tuesday, everyone. Is it Tuesday? Well, effectively Monday. Fuck you, man. <laughs> okay. No money went down. Happy fuck and Tuesday to you too. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to be That's so crazy. The, and the moon <clears throat> yesterday was in. No, it's, not, it's not midnight in uh, the UK <clears throat> yet. Midnight we are hour. still in. For, he's in Australia, man. Fucking uh, bye. <laughs> Sam. Bless you, Sam. <coughs> Bless you. <Sorry. coughs> Sounds like a little squirrel. Alrighty. <coughs> what song you want to do next? Why don't we do Lyle? Hmm? Lyle! Oh, what did you do? Okay. I'll say. Which one? Like, which one? Zen friend. Fuck names. Fuck names. Daniel <clears throat> says he's got to get to bed. He's Good night, Daniel. Daniel, get to bed. Get to bed. <clears throat> okay, one night time song for Daniel. <clears throat> we 
Okay, I'll get it cool for us. Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Hold on. And what did he do? Okay. Sunshine till the people come by. 
Mm-hmm. What about Edward Bridget? He said, I'm gonna Bridget. paint the rainbow all over the sky and I'm gonna tell everyone. Daniel Fuller is gonna be in the yard. Daniel Fuller's gonna go to bed when he wakes up. I hope that he's got a better hand. Cause his head is throbbing right now, not the one between his toes. What? That was a joke. That was really bad. A joke. Really bad. Joke. Really, 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 really bad. Really bad, Joe. Really bad, Joe. I'm ashamed you're my sister. <laughs> that could be your brother. Oh my god. <laughs> Daniel says, right, I'm definitely going out there. You go on, get the fuck out. The fuck's about you. Okay, okay. Let's go to bed. Like the poop breaks from your little head. Del, let me miss oh. bringing tissues. Tissues for Danny and Fuller. That's weird, man. A man bringing you tissues now, do you? <laughs> are they clean or are they already used? Is he paying for this kind of abuse? <laughs> Am I gonna see a face on the wanted news? Wanted news. Did I tell you that you smell just like a pamplemousse? That's grapefruit in French. Okay. I was fucking beautiful. Fintons, I think. <laughs> hey, Fintons. What's up? It was very really sweet to see you too, man. Okay. <clears throat> Can I start? <clears throat> Seth Aaron says, can't you sing something ugly about him? Just okay, let rushing. me do it. <clears throat> An art hall. Every time I see your name, you make my blood boil. Like a kettle. I think of all the ways I kill you. I'm only joking. You said something horrible, man. You wanted me to uh, say something. So hold on, hold on. Thank you. Okay, wait. Let me say it one more time. Let me I'm trying to figure out something to say, but I never have. Okay, so let me go again. Young needs to shave his face. People think there's a runaway beaver on there. I saw him also. Courtyard people yelled pedo. No, they didn't. That's really fucked up. I swear to God, they did. They came by with a pickup truck to take him away. To throw him in the bin. And then he tried to say, I'm just a man with the beard in my face. It's Do a pity, juicy beaver. What? I'm just a man with a beaver on my face. Do it's a big, wanna play. hairy beaver. I got sweets and borscht for all of you. Someone said it's a runaway beaver. It's runaway beaver. That is. Run away, baby! Run away, Beef curtains do today. Do today. Run away, 
to say something mean, man. Okay. Hope you're okay. <laughs> My beaver collect all your tears. Beef on skates. Oh my See, God. John, it was just beef on oh skates. God. If we hurt anyone's feelings in that song, good, because it was just a damn fucking joke. Come on, man. <clears throat> oh, my God. It's a bird. It's a pain note. Super beaver. <laughs> and you're welcome, Vincent. Thank you. Can't see my neck for the long beard. Oh my god. <laughs> Plucking his bum cheeks with a beaver on his face. I woke up today feeling ill. What? But then I realized there's Bill B. Well, Jan says I want to see a camel toe demonstration from Know Me in the End of the Song. Man, that's wrong. That's pretty Man, fucked that's up. That's pretty fucked up. Beavering for you as a Russian half Jew with a beaver on your face, asking me to show you my camel toe for free. If you pay him out, I will show you some of that hoof. Knock that beaver's teeth out <laughs> with your big hoof. Oh them. my god, Dwayne Gibson and Rich. Willy Woodthorpe. Okay. So Willie, Willie, Willie Wood, Willie Woodthorpe, and now there's baby beavers running all over the place. I saw Willie Woodthorpe. Saw Willie Woodthorpe. I saw Willie Woodthorpe. Saw Willie Woodthorpe. Saw Willie Woodthorpe. Dwayne Nixon. Dwayne Nixon. They started selling hot dogs in the park with no buns no buns they were pantsless and the children's parents said kids run kids run don't you dare look at that man he's got a foot long sausage in his hand and then that's it looks Cole just Cass like Bergen. a ham that hasn't been seasoned and then Cole Cass Bergen said wait till you see my foot long she said it's quite nice you can say the bread Wait till you see my foot long cheese whip. Cleared up, who had it? You can't put your soul, put your pepper on it. It's quite nice with season. It's a long, long, curly cheese whip. Cheese whip, 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 Dwayne Gibson had the longest beaver ever seen. It made its own bridge to eleven teen. Oh my god, oh my word. You had to take a lift just to see every the time. bird. And also, every time he passed the forest, it would turn into a bunch of canoes. Cause that beaver would be gnaw, gnaw, gnawing on every piece of wood. And so My beaver, take it to the zoo and let people pet it. You can pet my beaver for five dollars, lady. Some people said that big Dan. 
Some people said they'd pay nothing, they called the cops. And he was taken away in a big old van and beaten around the head. That poor prever just looked like a piece of dead. I swear to God, I'll pray for him. I'll take hey, him Star home says he me. died. Have myself beaver. a beaver home for some tea. You can die a beaver all you want, Bay Star, but it's still green. Green, green like, like a mage. Bone. Green with mange. Green with mange. Give something of that a tea be shot, cause it's green with mange. Green with mange. It's green gauge. Fucking rage. Green with gauge. I read this point, green with your... mange. So, Darren's mom said I'm a trap of beaver with my arms. Cause I got barbed wire armpits. <laughs> oh my god. And my dog sits when it barks. Put that dog down. <laughs> I need to go blow my nose. Hold up. How will it die? Are you a beaver? Shut up. Okay, just saying. <laughs> Anyway, she did summer rain. Quite familiar though. I'm so happy that the fourth album is actually released. As in, open the inside. Let me show you the inside. Okay. Oh wow. I just... It's fine. Just take the book out. Know? I'll take it. This is the CD inside. Sam's amazing artwork. Yeah, if you can see. You got it upside down. Uh, yeah. There yeah. we go. <laughs> Sam's amazing. Like, all the details. This was from the live room. Sam, you just took it live. I'm right. sorry. All I can say is thank God. It's from Everyone gets a crazy sense of humor. Oh, it's people cry. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, time makes me laugh. It flies so from someone so fast, and then it just goes so slow. Yes, yes. yes. To everyone that's been ordering the albums, thank you. Thank you very for much. Posting it all out and all the inside over here, the beautiful artwork. <clears throat> I'm not going to show you quick because you need to buy it to see the beautiful artwork. Got all the lyrics in here, Sam's designs. Look at me, that cow and chicken. Where the hell is? Friday, second, first page. Thank you, Mike. And look at this. No, don't show it. They must buy it. Oh, man. <clears throat> and maybe you'll see your names in here. Yeah. You might see your names so, in yeah, here. So, yeah, we've got our first album. We have the second one, the third, and the fourth. And again, it's thanks to you guys and why we'll continue doing music. Um, I can't wait to... <laughs> Dwayne and Gibson... More. If I'd said go beaver, I would never leave her. That's oh my hilarious. god, that's fucking hilarious. We need to make a show like that one day. Thank you to you guys. We really, really appreciate you. Look, Willie, what the? How will it die, Eva? You wouldn't have. Darren Swan, you did send his uh, albums to Australia. Australia. I'm sure to Australia. I'd be yeah. Show you. Today yeah. I did post, I posted Australia. Um, there's only one outstanding, two outstanding ones, and they're to Japan. But the writing was very tricky, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to post it. But everyone else got their hands. Masaru Kikuchi has all the Let me show something quickly. What? What are you gonna show? <laughs> and hey, Jacques Mel is to be on tonight. And Steve Johnson, thank you so much. Yes, so can you show that? Look at. It's all the girl. We didn't sing about Scott Sabrana. Look, that's for Japan. <laughs> Guys, Sabrana. we're gonna be live streaming. That's so cool, and that's gonna be the Japanese drama. We're be, yeah, we're gonna be live streaming in Japan, so don't worry about that. We're gonna show you everything. Every, we're gonna, so I'm gonna show the... you fucking everything, like everything. Everything. I'm gonna show you what my pool look like in Japan. <clears throat> Carl Perkins, Scott Sabrana, and Steve Wait, Johnson again. Wait, what's this? I'm on straight band, Di Balvo, Eric Tiat. Ooh. And Just thank you, guys. What song shall we do? It's not the summer rain. <coughs> Should be. Mm. You wanted it summer rain. No, I no, said it. I it. said it. Ah, <coughs> uh, March 54. Yeah, look. Um, Let's see if we can turn. Can we? Can we see? Can we turn this phone? 
let's do this. Oh, look, where does it say? Yeah, look. So you can see. Japanese version for the album. There's a um, there's a Japanese version of um, Societies and for so that's ready, pretty girl? cool. Oh, hell yeah, I am. Let me do it. <coughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, so let's just how can you look uh, that? Is your tuning work? Yeah, yours is up too. Hot Gmail? Try again. You in tune or what? She in tune? Thank you. 
I'm always a really tired, so anyone hearing us for the first time, just know that we don't normally sound that fucked up. <laughs> okay. When we do just society's rejects one more. Yeah. Before we okay. dance with life. Again, this one does have to <coughs> dance. Unfortunately, took his own life. I'm Thore, one of the most kick ass people. But unfortunately, he didn't see it for himself. People that we've ever met, he was really, really fucking beautiful. But he didn't, he just didn't see it. So, this one goes out to his memory. Just one second, I'm gonna just. <coughs> Holy shit. Just remind for everyone to embrace. Embrace people themselves. as they are. And even if people seem weird or strange and that, don't judge or but don't They're not hurting quick you or hurting judge other people. people. Just fucking accept people, man. Look. Of course, sometimes you meet people, and I'm sure I've met people think, whoa, but at the end of the day, you don't know what someone's going through, so don't be like... <laughs> We have severe congestion. Ah. We'll be back soon, but also we haven't slept earlier than 5 a.m. 
for the past oh, about a week. <coughs> yeah, for a week. So yeah, we're a little bit fucked up. A little bit. But of course, we'll be back soon. And again, thank you very much for tuning in to tonight's show. Would you like to take the thing, girl? I'm gonna take and it. I will get the comments. Thank you, Sam. Thank you know, you. I'm still wearing the same underwear from the one post that obviously washed um, that we did. Remember that one? Look. That's <laughs> all over. And the skirt, didn't you wear that? No. Very short. It's not the skirt. No. But yeah, again, thank you very much. And we love you guys. So yeah. And the way says, <clears throat> Hola chicas hermosas. Saludos desde. And thank you for saying that the bass sounds great. Uh, the strings are old as fuck, but yeah. Thank, thank you. you. And yeah, we are very, very excited. So our voice will obviously be back. It's just <clears throat> like it's literally fighting against severe congestion to even sing right now. So thank you. Yeah, we did. We did so tired. So Darren says, chicken. Look. I know how Lance feels. I can relate. I'm there most of the time. Just don't have the courage to go through with it. Well, Darren, it, just Look, because yeah. someone does it, it doesn't mean that they're courageous or whatever. And please don't ever do that. I really don't. It's, like, it's all I can think when I think about it is what a what a waste, what a waste of a beautiful soul. Yeah. See, the world's already fucked, and it, and, and just knowing that there was one more beautiful person on this world, in this world, but so just knowing that he was on it made me feel happier. And I think he really, he, he really should have just like found that inner like light or whatever. But it, it's it's such a waste. Really, what a waste. Yeah, you make the world a better place. So. Leave it on, leave it, man. Mm -hmm. Don't take, shit. don't take the your, don't take the the time life of your life into your own hands. Someone here let rip, and I hate the person. Who remembers some cow animal? And cow some and animal chicken. let rip here. my gold. Cow and chicken. Some animal here let rip. Mama had a chicken. Mama oh, had a cow. My sister had a beaver, and I could smell. Hey. <laughs> I'm only joking, but someone did fart in here. No one farted in here. Yeah. No one farted in here. <laughs> okay, anyway. <clears throat> Are you still doing Texas or do I need a plan on heading north? Where, Steve? Steve, we're trying so hard to get shows in Texas. That's the place that I want to go to the most. I really, really want to go to Texas. We've like, got to meet Steve. We've got to meet you. Like, yes. that I do know. So, <clears throat> hopefully we can book a show, like, in the next week or two. I don't know what's happening with that, but otherwise... Please come north. Darren Swan says, my situation isn't good. Darren, <clears throat> can I tell you something? You know, sometimes in life, and I, I hope that you actually do listen to what I'm saying. Sometimes in life, you, you reach a place where you think, like, what the what's the point? What's the point in going on anymore? Or, like, you're so low that Even now we wrote the song, um, like, Promise You, and she don't want to, like... There, there, there was a time where literally, like, I don't know, everyone's been through that, like, where you just really want to die every single day that you wake up you think of everywhere how you like you could end your life and it's really shit and it lasts months for some people sometimes years but and just know that it does also end it, like so please don't gonna, ever please don't ever do that and, and also like, i i did I, I was curious like what i could have said or, and and then I, I realized no i shouldn't have said anything i should have asked what can is there anything that anyone can do that would be able to help you in any way like what what would help you if that makes sense like what what is there anything that anyone could do that could help you in any way because i know it's the, like it's shit when everyone keeps giving you advice and like it, it's well intentioned like i felt so bad i was trying to find something that maybe would inspire lance like if there was something in nature that he he could get Look, into even what mike said it's... i said i used to feel like that in my mid-20s when <clears throat> i could not maintain a relationship i decided that i would just get on with my life then i met my wife things do turn around mm. exactly yeah, imagine you weren't there and then you wouldn't have your beautiful children you wouldn't have all the memories that yeah. you've made in your life but i don't know if there's anything then like what is life is dark or it's true find it's shit light. it's so shit i'm glad that i never ever allowed like things that i felt to just i don't know everyone's been there it's scary like a like a really dark place that you'll get to and you're gonna have to fight your way out of it and sometimes just talking to someone about it or knowing that someone cares really makes a big difference and also d don't worry like everybody <clears throat> has those moments where i promise you everybody on this earth has those moments where they think wow what's is the there, fucking point is there any yeah is there any use for me here like what? do i even fucking matter to anyone would but anyone miss me you matter more than you know yeah, Fintan says it's best to keep going because if you think life is awful, give it a chance to get better. I think sometimes 
if something's really going fucked in your life, if you maybe put yourself in a position like, I don't know, even if you are able to volunteer, I know that's not the solution to everything, but I know just having some kind of purpose outside of yourself helps. That's from when we were kids and we used to sell soap. We would raise funds for children's homes, like hospitals, orphanages. I know just having that made us feel like we've got a reason yeah. to be here. And yeah, and forgive you for what? <clears throat> I don't understand. There's no issue. And we're really happy. Kevin Max had had a friend say, life's like a poker game. Play until the game ends. 70, 80, 90 years. Not long enough. It's true. Mm. Really is too short, man. And, and thank you. It's so scary finding someone who's trying to kill themselves. Just watch and love them or call medics when they have to go to psych ward well it's sad it's fucking sad man happiness is the soap girl for me oh laura thank laura, you laura we fucking love you but again so darren if there's anything in any way that we can do like i don't know maybe sometimes you just need someone to talk to just like reach out seriously says i'm living rough fuck is there no like look yeah like <clears throat> please excuse my naivety because from South Africa, it's, it's different. Uh, you're in Australia, right? If if there's any, like, is there any kind of thing that, like, the government can maybe assist with? Like, look, don't get me wrong, I can't stand any government. But they already fuck people over, so when people need help, is, yeah. is to fucking help in, in some way. Is there any way that you can, like, ask for assistance or anything like that? Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, sorry to have to, like, ask, but, like, maybe... That, that could help or do you have like any family or anyone that maybe could like help you out or anything no way or... that's really shit man i'm so fucking sorry and again you see this is why we're fucking grateful to do what we're doing we want to really just build a big community and have a space i don't know whether it's some big plot of land and like people need some place and we'll always have a place now we don't have that yet but that's like what oh, we want to do, yeah. yeah. The one says, I'm Asperger's. I like to live my life on my way. Many people can learn a lot about those with that condition. Yeah, but speaking as someone also with it, you can't expect people who are neurotypical to understand that. Well, we have many sad people there too. Now it's time for husbands and sons back home. Most of them come home in plastic. Shit. Mm. Shit, man. So you never know what people are going through and always, again, try to spread some, some good shit out in this world. Many are here to talk if you need us. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Carl. And some of you says there are public suicide prevention groups in the US. Sometimes so that's a daunting thing for someone to to do. But I guess also if you do like what I think the best thing you can do is talk to your complete stranger sometimes. Yeah. In that you don't ever have to worry about like making yourself or something. like tell those kinds of things because maybe you feel that you can't tell people close to you about how you feel. Yeah. <clears throat> and hey, Patty. And Kevin, we are really grateful for that too. But I just wish that we could have done more. I really wish we could have just said, look, just come with us. Australia in the says, 10 family don't care help. Fuck mm. sakes. See, the, this is what, uh, what really freaks me out is that you get blood family and they don't do anything to help. Like, and I don't understand that because if, if I... Had a family member, I, I didn't care what it takes to help, I would, I would do it. I'm just, yeah. I don't know, In like for us, I don't know what we can do because we're not there. I just, I don't know, like, do you have like no friends or anyone that could help you out in any way? It's really shit. Down don't, one, don't, <clears throat> don't. Um... Your situation doesn't define you, like, yeah. is there no like government assistance you can ask for anything? Really shit. It's a fucked up one, man. Um, or a church? Or even a church, my sister's saying, I don't know. Japan have been the highest suicide rate, and I think your tour can save many lives. I don't know. I really hope we can just make people happy, but I don't know. Um, hmm. Shit, Vincent, thank you. I wish I had made Lance say that. I just, you, you know what the thing is? It's just, man, like, I really, I really wish I had, like, a solution. Paddy, we have zero tattoos. 
I think you're talking about the writing on us, but thank you. Um, but yeah, so Darren, like, what can anyone do, like, in Australia that, like, you know, if you've got, like, a situation that you're in, is there anything that you can do, like, ask for government assistance or in England, I know people can get um, council housing and things like that. Obviously, it's quite a process, but maybe that might be a solution there. I don't know. Mm. It's really shit. That's, like, it's the worst thing ever for me is that people will be in a situation and the government expects so much from people, like, you know, to always go to work, do this, and but, like, when someone needs help... They don't help. Where the fuck are they? And David me thank <clears throat> you, and for us too. Yeah, we're really, really fucking grateful. Mm. Is anyone else in Australia? Maybe, could I, could I just say, suggest something? I know Sharon Pickard isn't herself well off, but she lives in Australia and she's, like, really beautiful. She's got, like, a total hippie spirit. And maybe she would know in her community... Um, that someone that could help you and I really think that if you reach out to her she she would she would try and, and help, help you. you and just because she's in Australia she might be far away but it's still close and it, it might be better help yeah uh, but so Darren like I don't know if you've ever made contact with her but through the live streams even on Facebook Sharon Pickard is from Australia and she honest to God is really fucking sweet she's all about like um being how can i say like off the grid off and, the grid yeah. and that and i i really <laughs> do believe that she will know someone and she might have a solution she's she's really she's cool so i think the someone, best advice i could say is like yeah. if someone could put you in touch or in the soap side group with Sharon Pickard. With Sharon Pickard. Because she's in Australia too. Yeah. And even if she doesn't live in the same area, she might know someone who does. And then maybe she can, like, ask around or something. You never know. The world's a smaller place than what you imagine. Um, and also, yeah, Roger, I, I hope it is. I think Australia, look, they tax people a lot. So I hope that there is, like... Something for people to fall back onto. Like, yeah. they, they look after them. It's fucking hectic. And thank you very, very much, Peter. We really, really appreciate that. And also, Roger says, yes, we all love and respect Sharon. Words you share are truly help for anyone who is going through problems. Talk to someone, anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I fucking agree. Sometimes. Don't follow it up. <clears throat> sometimes even just having someone like that, that's helped me before. Um, talking to someone and they just listened. That's all you need. And they, they just listen. And maybe they will steer your mind away from what you I totally made a sound to steer your mind away from where you're thinking it's going which is like down a really dark hole and just know that like it's actually going to be okay and hey Salfa and Fenton says I work with homeless people and spend <clears> 10 <throat> years in mental health happy to talk to depressed sides oh Fenton you're already Thank fucking you. beautiful man and again people don't understand how how much it really does help if you can if you know you can just talk to someone someone that's not going to judge you someone that's just literally going to listen and privet valentina and hey sulfur what's up what's up and see john austin oh my god that is really fucking sweet of you like you don't you don't even understand how much we appreciate that thank you i'll write your name girl thank you thank you see john austin really appreciate it i think thank yeah you. we all need to go on antibiotics yeah because we are fucked i mean i've tried like to just use vix and stuff and it's no, not something really new. helping yeah. so thank you thank you very 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 much appreciate it. but yeah so my voice sounds like a squeaky toy but yeah so if anyone is darren swan in the soap side group on facebook if he is or even if he isn't could someone maybe ask sharon or could you guys put them in, in contact with each other. I think that's probably the, like, best solution I can come up with. I think so, too. Because, see, for us, it was the same um, situation with Lance. He lives quite far away from where we based when we don't have shows. Otherwise, um, we would have thought, why don't we try and, and move him in the van to his sister in Cambridge? Because that's all he wanted to do. Yeah. And, and he would have helped <clears> him do that. And but it's just the logistics, so we we're gonna like wait a bit of time and, and make a time to do it. But n being so far away from Australia, we have no idea what Australia is like. 
I just know it will be more helpful if someone that's based there. You just know you've got fucking Tim Tans, mate. Will help. Says you need vitamin C, Millie. Yeah, you do. I do. No, I've been having vitamin C. I don't do shit. And Andy Roberts, you're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to chat for another five minutes. Sam, yeah. come here quick. So Darren Swan is living rough in a tent in Australia. He's like, like rarely going He's through shit. Family. He's got, no, his family don't give a fuck about him. Um, I'm saying that I think it's good if he gets in contact with Sharon, Sharon, Sharon Pickard. Mm -hmm. Look, she's not well off. She herself is also completely so off the grid. She has a really awesome community of people around so, her and she will know. And I will say one thing about hippies. They really care. And like, I'm talking about true hippies, which she is. And I just think that's the best thing. Darren, like, d like, do you know of Sharon Pickard? She used to be on the streams a lot, and she, honest to God, is a really beautiful person. She's very, very I, sweet. I, I want to, like, suggest that you get in touch with her. She will know someone. Clinton Waters says antibiotics <clears throat> needed, possibly also anti-runaway beaver spray. Oh, my God. <laughs> and yes, also... Zinc and vitamin C is the best combination. Kevin says it's very cool our events, and I'll always bring people together. Millie, me, and Sam helping us in great music, too. Well, thank you, you guys. And I just want to say this. And also, this. we do. We care about you guys. We really so, do. So when, like, even you, Darren, when you say that... that like, we're going to be trying to think of, like, anyone that we know, like, in Australia. Yeah. But first to mind, honest, is just Sharon. Because she she's just really, really amazing. And, and she will help you. Yeah. She loves people and animals, but I think especially animals, but she will, she will help. And again, I just want to say this, um, we will always do the live stream, so d don't ever think that we're going to just disappear, we'll go and do it. Yeah. You guys will always be it's part more, of it. It's even just more than just like making music and that, it's, it's, it's about connecting with people. And, and also we put on this earth for a reason, and I think we are here to like just spread the message of, just love really yeah and, and live and also just to inspire people to not care so much about what other people think and be themselves and unashamedly so like think about when you were a kid and think how you embrace the world because you didn't have all these negative doubts or and projections from projections other from other people but the older you got then more and more people have tried to break down your spirit and it's really shit so if you can put yourself around people, even if it's virtually, what you surround yourself with and what you're filling your mind with really will impact you. So again, when you're going through shit, don't bottle it in. Find someone to talk to, write it down, let it out somehow, but also just find, find people that are going to, in some way, I don't know, build your spirit, if that yeah. makes sense. I met a new friend Saturday as I was getting ready to bus. We were talking about the homeless situation in Ashford. Part of the problem with shelters is that you have to be there at a certain time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. Well, Roger, I'm really glad about um, that. If Colombia has a new, like, constitution, that would be fucking Crosses awesome. Crosses is flying uh, out tomorrow to the Netherlands from Birmingham. Have a beautiful flight. And it was awesome 28th. to see you, and we will see you on the 28th mm -hmm. in Birmingham. In Birmingham. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, that's so cool. And again, the world is smaller than what you realize. So reach out. Sometimes you think that people, I don't know, are unapproachable. Sometimes people are rude. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes just smiling at someone and showing a friendly side to yourself makes people think, oh shit, I can, I can approach mm. them. Sometimes you meet people and they're annoying and you think, oh my God, why did I get into this? But at the end of the day, one life, just do it. And also, what is here? Sorry, Adelaide is... South Australia, I think it is. I do, I know Australia is huge. Says, I'm amazed people oh, your age even know what hippie means. Much less know some real hippies. Just so please. Kevin, like, wait, can I say something? It's like even Lawrence when he came Laura. to the show, <clears throat> they tried to chase him away because of how he looked. Yeah. I hate that. Um, we even spoke to the bar staff afterwards in Swansea, and we said like, oh, look. No, I'm saying they'll never chase uh, him but we spoke to them because they initially tried to chase him away from the venue because of how he looked. And I'm sorry, that's so disgraceful. No, and then we explained to them about um, his situation and everything, and then they said, fuck, they, they felt really so bad. really bad. Yeah. So it's just like judged immediately. And that's not so cool. So can see you in the mirror. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. There we go. If you're going to eat. But like, that's really, really sad, man. I just, I find, like, people being that judgmental. Look, I've met people, I don't care, even if some really dirty person really that's 
because you're standing you can see it. even if someone that's like really dirty and homeless comes up to you and hugs you look you can go home and shower it's fine it's fine jesus christ you don't know maybe someone's that covered in shit that. okay i draw the line <sighs> still right. um but yeah kevin said Maybe we can help a Darren what's got you troubled. Well, I think he's just in a really fucked up situation right now. And like to not have any like proper place to say is not easy. That sucks. Fucking yeah. sucks, man. And Pete Hogan will be in New York. I'm not sure. But we'll be in other states in America. Yeah. Soon. I mean, most people your age even know what hippie means. But she doesn't know some real hippies. No, fucking hell, man. Um, look at yeah. In life, it's the same with everything. You get people who call themselves hippies, but they aren't. Same with punks. <clears throat> and they really aren't. They don't know what it means. But then you get people who, by virtue of them just living their lives with absolute love and kindness and open-mindedness, and they stand up for what they believe in, they're a hippie, and that's Sharon. But Goldwyn, will you be in New York next month? We are touring America, and we're excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking you two were crazy kids, Sam, and a wild child's memory. Oh, my God. Dwayne we were crazy kids. in New York for the fourth. Mm. No way. And, Dwayne, yes, we got your PayPal. Thank you. Thank I wrote you. your name on my body. Thank you, Dwayne. And I promised your album oh. I posted today. And Rich's or your album. Thank you. Darren says, you, what? Roger says, Darren, you've just landed in the Soap Girl Safety Net. Please realize that our legions are such want the best for you. Use us for your betterment. Yeah, well, exactly. Look. Everyone knows someone who knows someone who might be able to and help. That's why we like all on this earth is to help each other in any way or form that is possible. Look, of course, but you also gotta... you must also <clears throat> want to help yourself yeah. too, because someone can help you like to the ends of earth. But if you don't want to help yourself, then there's really nothing anyone can do. So you gotta like also just it's the same with us. Like every time we've ever needed something and we got we've pushed even harder because we just no, yeah yeah. Um. So, oh my God! Four weeks and we're in America. What, the casino too bad? They were closed. Mm. Oh. Oh, my God. Mm. I would be scared of a casino. Like, imagine you go and then you just lose everything. Oh, oh I'd feel too bad now. I would, yeah, I would just be scared. I would never go into a casino for that reason. Because no. you've got, like, a very competitive nature. Yeah, so, no. Mm. Pretty good anyway. with this car machine thing, so. But we... Uh, the Grand Canyon or Yellowstone. I don't think we're going to have time yeah, to visit like, those things. Like This is our first time touring America. We don't have any grand expectations of being able to see things. We All we are excited for is to see our American soap sides. And play the shows. Play the shows. That's the biggest gift and the biggest like and joy that actually. we can look forward to. We're very excited. Whatever else we get to see, it's just a bonus. Yeah. Are you, your tour dates for the U.S. posted? Um, so... If, some of them are up on the website, but more will be added very, very soon. We're excited. And Eric says, you're still alive. I'll send my previous message. Recently discovered you guys. Love it. One request. Please release another song in the theme of... In the name of God. God. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, That song is completely inspired by our absolute abhorrence, disgust yeah. and abhorrence to animals being slaughtered. Um, we wrote the song like through the eyes of an animal in a slaughterhouse where people like just completely disassociate the fact that that's a living being from a product. Yeah. People use propaganda and all kinds of things to act like what they're doing is right, but it's not. So thank you. I'm really glad that that song means something to you too. And yeah, and we do like mountains, but and unfortunately, <clears throat> when you're on tour, you. It's not a holiday. So, yeah. And Bill says, Adelaide is near Kangaroo Island and closest big city is Melbourne on Google Earth anyway. Then it says, I went to Vegas, felt the gambling bug. Happy I left when I did. Two more days, I might have walked away naked having lost everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. He's naked in Vegas. And, and so Shay, today crazy. we were meant to dedicate a song to Julie. I just feel so bad because my voice is so fucking fucked up. I mean, we could try one more. No, I think, I think we, out. yeah, it's just, yeah, my voice is like really, it's not going to sound good. Oh, yeah, and yeah. thank you, Eric, we, we appreciate that. Rem oh, he says, reminds me of the song from Rammstein where Till wrote it from the point of view of cancer. Oh, sure. Whoa, What's that is one cool? fucking kick ass. No, in the name of God. <clears throat> he says he hopes that we write more songs in that vein. You should listen to our song Kill Breed. Of our latest album that's kind of in that vein. Yo, thank you very much for that compliment, man. Uh, Mike, thank you. You're a sweetheart. Thank you for doing that. 
that he put. You're already uh, fucking sweet, you. man. Yeah. Um, best mountain is a table mountain. Uh, table mountain is pretty cool, man. Gotta watch yourself in Vegas. And Eric, I like Rammstein's music a mm. lot. Um, We're gonna say goodnight soon because you gotta be. Oh my god, that's in his vocals are sick. And Dennis is my friend. Keith <laughs> chose to live in a tent because he didn't want to bring his problems into anyone else's home. A few weeks before he passed, he asked to spend the night at my house just to get off the streets. Oh my god. That's terrible. <sighs> Fuck, I'm so sorry. Mm. Jesus Christ. Eric said I'm looking at Table Mountain now. Hey, rock on. Rock on, man. Shame, that's man. That's awful. fucking awful. Speaking of Killbreed, we saw you recorded in German. Will that be released? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, when we did the music video for that song, it was uh, to the German version. So not the English one? No. I think we were a bit dumb. No, you can put you can play them both over each other then. Yeah. You can. Yeah. People do that all the time. I hope so. Thanks, ladies. And I'll see y'all someday soon. Yes. Steve, we can't wait. We will see you in America. We are just fucking excited and grateful and thank you so much for being so fucking amazing and yeah we think she's fucking cool who uh and that's the white well of course yeah. we think she's fucking awesome the previous singer also of um arch enemy was also amazing absolute beast vocals love it please okay, we take care of yourself yes art we're gonna say good night because we need to Get the fuck to bed so we can wake up early. Sweet dreams, everybody. Sweet dreams. And again, thank you so much to everyone for your support. We appreciate you so much, Darren. Just know that you're not alone. We hope that Sharon reaches out to you. Hopefully she does. Um, otherwise, we're going to try to find another plan. But again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Sweet much. Sweet dreams, everybody. All the love and stay fucking filled with energy because honestly, it's going to be okay no matter what happens, everybody. And when the penguins got stung, they said Boulder's Beach was part of Table Mountain Nature Reserve. So assume ta- Simon well, Sanders yeah, was part. Yeah, it's all uh, protected. And just to get off the street, I brought him home and took him back the next day, not knowing that he was the last time I'd see him. Fuck, oh, I'm so sorry, Daniel. Him, At least you gave him some kindness. I'm so sorry, man. Dale, we fucking love you. See you soon. Thank Sweet you very dreams. much. And yeah, see you guys very, very, very soon. <laughs> well thank you very much Jan. that's really sweet of you I, I really look up to those singers so <laughs> thank you and thank you Eric thank you we're really glad sweet you take our music Good night, everyone we will see you guys soon huge love Darren we fucking send yes. you extra love and, and Darren, extra don't do anything stupid seriously you loved don't Good night, everybody we love you Laura we'll see you guys soon bye <laughs> and thank you Good night, Colin thank you Sweet dreams. Bye, guys. If we could, we would stay on longer, but we'll have no voices. Okay. We love you, Carl. Good night, Eric. Good Bye. night, Steve. Good night, Roger. Good night, David Smay. Good night, everybody. Thank Good you. Good night. Bye.